Granny Gear here. We're out on uh, yet another S240 or S240, I guess, since it is or overnight. I guess it's really not a zero, huh? So S24 overnight. So sub 24 hour overnighter. And uh, just out and really in the local canyon here. Uh, it's a beautiful evening. It's supposed to be maybe chance of coming in to rain tonight and 40% um, chance of rain tomorrow. So, you know, we'll just have to see what the morning brings. But for right now, as you can see, it's pretty nice. I got my uh, shelter set up behind me, and the main reason for t coming out tonight was to uh, try some new gear that I've been accumulating over the winter. Got a new uh, tarp shelter, uh, a lot lighter than the tent. Uh, still trying to figure out, you know, how to pitch it right, um, get the support poles fabricated and uh, ground cloth figured out, and I got bivy sack I'm going to try and a few other things. So hopefully. You know, over this next year, I'll keep refining and we'll keep getting some uh, lighter and some better things and something that will be versatile enough to take me bike camping in just about any situation that I care to be in from, uh, you know, pretty cold and wet to uh, pretty hot. We're going to get a little mosquito matting later on and uh, we'll do some, some bug net uh, applications too so I don't have to have the bivy sack all the time. You know, I don't mind not having a floor on the, on the tent, having it being sealed. That's okay. Not real crazy about little tiny things crawling all over me, you know, I have to say, I'll admit that. So, uh, anyway, I'm more worried about them than I am being eaten by a uh, by a bear or something. So, in any case, uh, let's take a look at the, some of the stuff I got, and we'll see how it gets, uh, see how it works out in the morning. All right, so this is the Integral, Integral, that's hard to say, Design Seal Shelter. And as you can see, it's, uh, as a tarp goes, it's a little bit more than minimal, actually. Uh, a lot of tarps are really barely than a little, uh, more than a little fly over you. And this actually uh, is pretty good size. It's probably in the neighborhood of, uh, well, I have to say it's probably about uh, nine feet long, maybe five feet wide inside. And uh, has a couple flaps here on the front, one that comes down here. And they kind of overlap. I'm not so sure about how well that works, but we'll find out. It's kind of an odd arrangement. But in any case, take a look at what's inside. You can see uh, quite a bit of room in there, really. Uh, room for two, if you don't mind being slim. It's kind of a bummer in that it's a center pole system. Um, it kind of steals a little bit of room, and, and I may try and figure out how to get around that at some point. But in any case, um, I got my REI bivy sack here and uh, I do have my down bag I'm going to try and use it as a quilt tonight see how that works I kind of like the move to a quilt system so we're going to use this uh, old north face down bag as a quilt and uh, I got my inflatable pillow and uh, you know some munchies for later and my gear and this uh, this has a really big vestibule actually if I unhook this you'll see it actually makes for a pretty big pretty big tent there really so from where I would normally sit I don't have that tight but it uh, gives me probably another three feet or so of room across this so seal shelter uh, is kind of an interesting thing I was still playing with it and uh, you know we're gonna go see how it works tonight um, tarps are kind of interesting you know there's a lot more to that than getting it just right than there is just putting up a, a one of those little self-supporting tents i found that out this is going to take me a while to refine this and that's why i'm out here within you know 15 minutes of home is that uh, this is when i want to figure it out and not when i'm uh, you know on the cocopelli trail or somewhere or uh, somewhere where i really really need everything to work you know if uh, something fails tonight i'll just bail and put my flashlight on and go home but i think we're going to be okay tonight and so uh you know we'll see how it goes Back over here on my little uh, sitting spot, I'm going to enjoy what's uh, left of twilight or the fading fading light of day, I guess. Sunset happened about probably about 20 minutes ago now. It's still pretty nice in here. Lots of birds still chirping. I can hear some crickets and frogs starting to go in the distance. It's starting to green up for spring. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to, until uh, it gets a little cold and dark, enjoy a little bit of devotional book here. And... Uh, Maybe go to bed, read a little bit more with my headlamp, and uh, enjoy the evening and wake up, and we'll see what kind of weather the morning brings me. We'll see you then. I tell you what, it rained. It rained a lot. I don't know when it started, sometime uh, late at night or early in the morning, but uh, 
It was a lot of rain, much more than I would have expected considering the forecast, but it was a good test. Uh, I kind of wished I hadn't pitched under a small tree because the drops were loud enough to keep me awake sometimes. But uh, it was interesting. I'm not so sure about the seal shelter. There's a couple things about it I don't like. I'll have to see if I can deal with that or not. I, I am going to probably uh, talk about that more in print somewhere. So, But, you know, um, the uh, bivy sack worked great. Got very little condensation inside. Even my down bag wasn't enough to be a problem. It would have dried the next time I set up camp easily enough. Really was, uh, was pretty good. Um, I didn't sleep with the face covering over most of the time because that felt a little claustrophobic. But um, other than that, just felt like I couldn't breathe as well as I liked, even with the mesh. So probably saved that for really buggy times. But uh, really, you know, it was pretty good. I'd never, I never, stayed nice and warm. And uh, there was a ton of, uh, only had one little drip at the top of the, of the shelter. And I think I need to seal that a little bit differently. So other than that, it was good. It was a good test of the equipment. Um, if I was on a uh, five-day bikepacking trip in rainy weather, I think I'd want a little bit different some tweaks and things. That's for sure. So these, this is why I'm doing this, so I can find those things out. So now I've got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe to get home, get some breakfast. My socks are uh, soaked from walking around in the wet grass with shoes that aren't waterproof. I should have brought my winter shoes, but, you know, who would have known? Anyway, uh, times like this are a lot of fun. 15 minutes from my house and surrounded by quail that are calling so loudly now I could uh, hardly hear myself think. Could be worse, huh? We'll talk to you later. Granny Gear out.